Hey YouTubies, if you are here, you might be a radio technician trying to figure out why you can't read your Motorola. In my case, CP200D, we have a lot of these. But any IP-based radio, I would say, anything that has an IP address. So, I just tried it with the radio off, and obviously that doesn't work. Yeah, well, I shoot my finger, I can't see the... There we go. So let's go up. And let's see if it makes a layer out of me this time. So you'll notice... It's not doing anything. Now, I've been a radio tech for about 30 years. I've probably spent a year of hours programming radios in those times. I'm also a network guy. I've got a pretty good network just at my house. Build them all the time for people. I'd like to think I know what I'm doing. There you go. Unable to detect applicable devices. Now, I'm going to go down here. If I can find my mouse again. It's kind of bright in here. And I'm going to I didn't want to do that. Let's try this again. I'm going to disconnect from my network. Why is that, you say? Doesn't always happen. Well, the way the radios come from the factory, they have an address of 192.168.10.1. It turns out that my mobile router has an address of 192.168.10.1. You see the problem? I've looked all over the internet. I've called Motorola tech support while sitting outside with deputies, getting impatient with me because I can't program their cars. Eh, this is a school bus. This is now my favorite school bus because I finally found an article that helped explain it. Even though they didn't bring out that particular detail, just knowing that you have to be able to ping the radio from a command window, uh, your favorite ping program, the software is communicating with the radio via IP you cannot duplicate addresses so you will either turn off your web or you set the radio to a different IP address which in order to do you have to be able to program it so you need to turn off your access point or unplug your network give that a try